and welcome to the God is a Geek podcast. My name's Adam Cook. I am your host with the most, and by most, I mean most people on the podcast. It's episode 403, and I'm joined by Adam Carroll. Adam Cook, how are you? I'm fine, mate. We've, we've got this thing going now that I think you and I both know when someone says Adam, that we know who they're speaking about, right? Hmm. Hmm. But what if I was I to say to you that there is not just two Adams here? And I don't want people to get excited and think there's three, although that would be good. <laughs> Chris White fight. is here. Chris White is here. Chris? Hey, up. How's it going? I'm great, mate, but I'm going to confuse things now. Chris Hyde is here also. Jesus. Hello. Which essentially means that we have got Adam, Adam, Chris, and Chris for the first time in God is Geek history. And that's exciting. That is exciting, <laughs> viewer, listener, reader, Whoop. watcher. Two Chris's, like- two Adams, Acker. Kaka. 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 Oh, Kaka. no, hang on. Kaka. 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 Yeah. Or Kak. Kak. That's See. the name of the podcast. It's not. I'm not doing that. Um, <laughs> everyone good? Everyone coping? Happy? Absolutely yeah. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Excited to be here. Yep. I'm, I'm feeling good. <laughs> Loving life. Um, hope you all are too. I've, I mean, I'm, I'm a lot better now, mate. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> You've cheated me right up there with that I got outrageous ex- lie. i got extreme sinus <laughs> problems going on right now. So oh. I'm going to say that to people. If you see this, don't get offended. It's just, it's Is just that offensive? Let's... I, I personally just... think if I saw somebody constantly fixing their schnoz in video, I'd be like, ooh. And, and then seeing that tissue get raggedy. Because hey, the thing is, right? <laughs> raggedy. Do you know when you get this tissue raggedy business Adam. going, right? Within seconds, it just falls <laughs> apart, right? And you're kind of going, That oh, looks disaster. like, I mean, you know, people can't, if people are just listening and they can't see it, but that looks like a pretty rough looking bit of tissue. Like, doesn't it look like a nice soft handkerchief? Well used, that looks like. It, well, like, do you know what? This was just brought into play there about five minutes ago. So that's just saying is, the is state of my nose. Roll, though? No, it's not kitchen roll, Jesus. I mean, no, oh, I'm sorry. It. Oh, yeah, I don't worry about me offending. Let's, but let's me, move on. Do, let's but do, go on. No, hang on, let's not move on here, because I have a question for <laughs> oh, all of right. you. Let's draw more <laughs> attention to the nostrils. Thank you. Um, have you have you ever, like, delved into hankies? Delved in? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, well, like, jumped into a drawer full of them, you mean? Or? Like, well, yeah, you could do that and just, like, go around them. But, like, have you used hankies in your lifetime? No. Yes. Not as, like, ones that you wash? Yeah. See, no. so the thing what? the thing is, right? Handkerchiefs are good, Don't but do. but they are disgusting also because are essentially, they? well, they are. When you think, about, I don't know that this is the right avenue to be discussing on a on a podcast. But the idea of repeatedly <laughs> excreting your pro- no propelling your snot from your schnoz mm-hmm. into a thing that needs washing as opposed to binning. Yes, but there's Disgusting. but the situation here is I'd feel far more confident in taking out a hanky because it's not falling apart. You know when you get that Jeez. tissue and it's like falling apart and you're just like, oh no. That's when you business. bin it and get another one though. Yeah, one what, blow if not, one. what if you're not near yeah. the place for a new one? Well, I'm always well, I can prepared. see you. You're clearly in a house. Yeah. How how unportable is your box of tissues? It's it's involved in me. <laughs> like he's left it in another yeah. room. I've left it. I, it's in another room. This, I, I, now. Look, I'm not a pro at this situation. I'm still an amateur. <laughs> like I'm hanging on. This has to last for this entire podcast. That's all I'm gonna say. I mean, I for the first time ever, I'm gonna recommend if you're listening, don't watch the video of this <laughs> because right. that tissue is gonna be ranked by the end of this. Oh, that's desperate. Well, hey, video games, huh? They ain't ranked. Video <laughs> games, huh? Um, I do you know, let's, let's start with Mr. Mr. White. Oh. Um, from Reservoir Dogs. Oh, very we good. Just, very we just, good. I only, it only works the once, doesn't it? Yeah. None of us have got colours in our surname. No. Chris White, um, you've been playing a game. I sure have. Great. Fair enough. Just <laughs> great, crater. Thank now, God. Oh, yeah. Is this... I mean, you played it on Stadia. I don't know if it's Stadia exclusive or if it's temporarily I Stadia exclusive. I think it's timed. Yeah, timed okay. exclusive, but it's, I believe. It's, it's a creation suite, right? Like, is it is it Dreams-like? Um, it's more Minecraft than Dreams. Okay. Uh, Interesting. But, but, but that's kind of doing it a disservice. Okay. So it is it like <laughs> yeah, kind of it. 
<laughs> and it's kind of a mix of of many different games of styles and stuff and how things are done but it, it kind of takes out bits from everything and makes it its own so there's like okay. you, you you start the game by creating an avatar um and it looks very fortnighty um and then you can play some of the pre-made games but i mean the t- we played it before it came out so yeah. there was there was very very limited people on there obviously now it's out it'd be interesting to see you know where it where it is but um you can play play everyone's game people like people upload their creations and you can jump in or you can do the creation suite which is a case of so in fortnite creative you've got um an asset gallery where you can pick different items and and start slotting them into whatever pre-selected island you've created in this i didn't know that fortnite had that mode when did they add that Oh, well, I don't know, but my girls, that's all they play. The creative, they just Oh, no, build. I do. So, no, apologies. I do remember it. I just never actually had a look at it. Yeah, wow, yeah. that game. Sorry, yeah, go so, on. No, it's all right. So you pick your different, whether it's a texture or um, an item or a sound effect or there's a lot of stuff. You drop it into a bar at the bottom, which is exactly like the Minecraft bar where you put them in boxes. And then you go around and you, you, start, lay, you start laying the foundation, you start building this world. Um, oh. And there's there's a lot of opportunities to create a, a range of different games. So you can pick like a team deathmatch or a team elimination. You can pick a survival game. You can Wait, pick so like it, it. It's not. Yeah, I say okay. So I, yeah, I see what you mean now. Because I'm think I thought this was more of a like you could create a platforming game. It's not. It is about the. I don't want to keep saying Fortnite, but the it is a third it's person. A... Yeah, and it's a multiplayer. It's based around okay. multiplayer games, so okay. that was another reason why you do, I don't get to play yep. anything really. Um, but like, you can create four on fours. You can you can create, uh, as I said, survivals. But it, you can do it. Any literally anyone can make a game because right. there's a lot of templates where you could just say, say you pick Team Deathmatch for example. You can instantly kind of create grass over the whole island um you can instantly put some mountains there or some buildings or or whatever and just jump in what what kind of takes it further is the the detail in which you can change like the the sound effects when you pick up a gun the the respawn times um the the the, the way the score what the way you can score points um the, even the the style of the scoreboard and right literally everything so there's that you can you can, if you want to you can spend hours doing it but it's i mean obviously dreams people have built some incredible stuff in dreams and it's a very yeah. different game in in terms of it's it's about art and you can you can make a comic book you can make a film you can make you can make a game but it's like you can make platform you can, there's a lot more variety and it's more accessible because on the playstation and google stadia hasn't captured i forgot you anyone, said stadia really. Yeah, so it's not um, it's not ideal, but it's one of those games that if people are going to start buying the Stadia, this is the game to do it because I, I, it's a well-made game. But like, there's a lot of effort that's gone into making it available yeah. to anyone, and 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 there's tons of different modes, and you can literally you can pick those, or you can start from absolute scratch, and and mix all different ideas from different styles of games. And make a multiplayer game. Like they, they've they've taken a lot from a lot of different. Like it's a lot of different inspiration from a lot of different games, and made it their own with this this kind of easily accessible Fortnite style avatars and and patterns and schemes and textures and whatnot. And they've they've done something really interesting. But so is it? I mean, it's a bit of an unfair question. It's nothing to do with the game. You you've been playing Stadia a bit recently. I'm trying to think. You've... Yeah. Yeah, wave break. I previewed that. That's the reviewed, one. Reviewed, yeah. moving mm, out. It's terrible. Packing up. Get pack, packed. Pack, get get packed. packed. Yeah, get that's packed. the one. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's. I don't. I don't want to become a pile on 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 Stadia because I guess it does what it's supposed to do. But like, it's in. A, it's not in any better a space now than it was when it launched, right? Like, it, no. it, I mean, I know that Crater no, no. had like one of the. One, you know, they announced all this stuff that it could do. Stadia, like they, I know Crater yeah. had some, some some of the features for the first time, but 
yeah i don't know I just, I don't... yeah no i mean it's it will never be my preferred platform i think it's it's a good idea but i just don't think enough preparation preparation was put into marketing it properly and but like the game who's, who's it for i, I mean no, I, well, I don't know it, because but... the game <laughs> the games are all right games are the games aren't they it's, like, got, you, it's got games you... that you'd play on playstation as well yeah yeah and you get in stuff like nba 2k 21 will be released on stadia it's got it's got a lot of yeah, i swear you're doing it on purpose now i, I, I don't I know say, what you mean i say stadia too so we, we you know chris respect I honestly, I've never said Stadia. Stadia, Stadia. Haven't decided sounds... myself. I'll get back to you on that one. But it's like yeah. Stadium, surely. Like that's the whole. Really? Why? Is that what well, you're going for? Because it's big and lots of people are in it. And that's well, they're what they not. Come up they're with. not. But uh, huh? That's what they went for. They went. It's big. I mean, either Stadia. way, it's not great. I don't know why it matters. I don't know, but I, I thought Chris Hyde was looking as if to say, oh, he keeps saying it like that. No, when I, was was at, doing... I was waiting for your response because I thought, I, I say it like that too. Um, well, yeah. Chris, Chris and Chris unite, you see. We didn't know it's pronounced. Anyway, the, the Stadia. Um, yeah, it's, it, you, mate, it's... You call it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Oh, well, one of us is right, one of us is wrong. Do I don't the actually I... know. Um, when well, I don't it, do it, that... No, oh, I know I'm just being a dick. So, so Crater, it's a, it's, it's got a two-month um, free trial. Stadia, <laughs> Stadia has now. I've ruined it. So, ruined yeah, it. you have. So Sorry. it's, it's worth, it's worth delving in, like even because even the pro, like because you get the pro subscription, which has got a load. Uh, I say a load. It's got a few. Uh, it's about ten, twenty free games that you can download as part of the pro subscription. So, recent stuff like Zombie Army Fours on there. Um, and stuff like that so there's a fair amount but it it's it's not i don't i can't see it taking off because it's it's not really as you say who's it for <laughs> i don't know well, but creators it's, it's certainly a good game and like i don't think it's going to do too well on the stadium when it really when it you know in, in general but it will do when it moves to other consoles it's just it's just one of those things it's just not it's not at the Successful. end of the day, Google are throwing the money. They're throwing the money uh, mm. to to buy exclusivity or, or, or yeah. temporary. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure, but I mean, you can you can read Chris's review in progress on GodIsAGeek.com. We urge you to do so to see. Yeah, I guess again, like you don't need hardware for this. Everyone's got something that can play a Google mm. Chrome browser on. Play a Chrome browser. I don't know. Um, I teased a game last week. I want to talk about because I think I think actually it will be of interest to all of you. Uh, I know it will to Chris uh, Chris White. I'll get used to this one day. Um and yes. it's called Fuser. And I'll be honest with you, when when the PR contacted us to to have it, it was the same it was the same um PR company that were representing the uh, new what was that shit, what's it called? That soccer game? New what, f- the one you Christ, what was that game called? Street, street Power Football. Yeah, Street Power Football, sorry. It was the same PR company. Um um they offered a game called Fuser and said, you know, it's a it's a music rhythm game and immediately it was like Yep, okay, well, I'm interested in that. Um, I didn't even realise it was Harmonix until I was in the Discord preview chat talking to developers at Harmonix and um, someone I did know who we worked with before when he was at Atlas, actually, believe it or not. Uh, boring story over. Fuser is the new rhythm game from Harmonix. Mm. It's it's the company that made Rock Band, the Dance Centrals, and that immediately made me go, Arr? you know, like... I. I, it's not that I didn't do my research; it's that I just didn't, for some reason, didn't twig. And it's fucking amazing! Like it is such a cool idea. Now I don't know if has anyone here played Drop Mix? No, it's, no. It's, it's not a it's not a video game; it's a sort of board game. And the idea is you're mixing tracks together. So it's very difficult. And I will in the video version of this podcast, I will drop some footage of the game so you can see it in action. Essentially, you are a DJ at a festival. Uh, multiple multiple festivals and there's like a campaign a full full campaign and you, to start your set you've got the face buttons on a controller like an xbox 360 controller i guess the color you know red blue green and Bye. thank you um <laughs> and I, 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 the one i've got doesn't have colors on so I, I've, I've sort of lost the language a bit um but you so each of those correspond to a a stem or a seed from the track so for example uh, I think red is vocal I think uh, green and yellow are like 
bass or and um guitar or if there's no guitar it'd be like the horn section sort of thing you know that sort of stuff and yeah. uh blue or cross or x whatever you want to call it is the is the the drum beat so along the top of your screen you've got all your tracks so you've got like cold plays clocks you've got like um x can give it to you you know oh, call me you know soon. call me maybe <laughs> um <laughs> the clash are in, are in there like there isn't a good mix of, of 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 genres and and while my initial thought when seeing this was like okay so this isn't a festival like reading or glastonbury well these days glastonbury but you know this isn't a festival like reading this is a festival like uh what's a dance music festival B. oh dance greenfields something like that yeah yeah Greenfields still going why is it still going <laughs> nothing's going now but yeah chris, what chris is doing oh, yeah. is, you know, big fish little fish <laughs> cardboard <laughs> box you know that sort of thing um it's that kind of festival now you know you guys know me and especially like adam you know we have very similar taste to music so do we chris actually i think we all have similar taste to music actually to be fair i'm more into something with a guitar not necessarily doesn't have to have a guitar but you know anyway so seeing like this dance festival dj set and i'm like going ooh, um yeah, um, I'm in, I'm instantly like kind of on the fence about this song. Exactly, like so I would well, I would be like, well, no, rock band had like rock music and it's guitar hero, guitar hero, you know those games. But there is enough in there. I mean, like, like you can't pretend "Call Me Maybe" isn't a banger. You know, you can't like bad guy Billy Eilish is in there. I'm not yeah. a huge fan, but it's it's a, you know. I'm just gonna jump in and say I think when it comes to, when it when it comes to these kind of games, yeah. Um, I think you grow to love the song yep. if the gameplay works really well. Right. So, so here's the thing. So you drop the drums in of let's say. I'm trying to think of one of the ones that's really iconic in there. I mean, I suppose "Bad Guy." You can imagine all that because it's such a simple song. Really, there's yeah. not actually a lot of instrumentation to it. It's in the mix. It's in the production of that song. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> And that the... <laughs> that's my rendition of it. <laughs> oh, beautiful! That isn't it. <laughs> so you drop the drums in, and it starts, and then the crowd start playing. And then then you look, you look along, and you go right. And I tell you what, we're going to drop in Coldplay's piano. So you know, and that's mixed well. Then you just you, you you carry on, and you there's even country songs in there. You maybe drop you know I mean the Clash um, drums are usually pretty good, but what Clash you drop them in. Videos? I can't remember if it was Rock the Casbah or Should I Stay or Should I Go. I think it was Rock the Casbah. Which is not the one I'd have chosen. I mean, I would have gone for something like, you know, Lost in the Supermarket or, or something like that. Sure. Whatever. Exactly. But it's it's known, isn't it, Rock the Cars? But it could be, should I stay or should I I can't remember. I actually can't remember. I feel like, should I stay or should I go? I mean, I just think they're put in enough into other things. Well, so, so here's the thing, right? Every song in here, you will know, or there may be a few you don't, but you will know most of them. They are, they are hits. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. What they've done, and I actually asked the developers this question, what intrigues me about this is... And I use this exact example. When you see a racing game now, a realistic racing game, sometimes they don't have damage in them. Because, do you remember the GT thing, the Gran Turismo thing, where it's like we can't have damage in our game because the manufacturers do not want their their cars shown as damaged? Do you remember all that? So similarly, I was thinking with music, is that there's going to be artists that are going to be like, mm, hang on, so you're going to mix... I don't know if Oasis are in the final game, but let's say, you know, approach Noel Gallagher and Oasis management say, we want to put Don't Look Back in Anger in Wonderwall. We want to put Wonderwall in there. And it's like, right, explain the process. And it's like, well, what we're going to do is we're going to have Liam's vocal that you can drop in over Call Me Maybe's bass line. And, and, and some bands are going to be like, wait. not." And you know what I mean, Ad. There are people who would yeah. like it. Because what they've also done is, of course, well, yeah, absolutely. I, I get it. <laughs> I get it. But what yeah. they've also done is, of course, I think Coldplay Clocks is in either C or B flat. That's not the key that every other song is in. Yeah. So every single stem, so every bass line, guitar line, drum, every well, even the drums, because some of the drums, the seeds have like a bass synth mixed in, so they even have to be. Everything has been pitch shifted to every key. So it works. Otherwise, it wouldn't work, and it, and, and, and it, and it bloody works. And while you're playing this, you've got a, a meet, you've also got a, like a drop bar, like a beat bar, uh, and the idea is you drop the drums on the beat, and like the vocals you drop just before the beat, because often the vocal comes in just before the the, the beat. Adam, you know this. Um, all this is happening. You get little challenges appear on the side, like um, I, you know, or someone in the crowd's like, "Oh man, I'd love to hear the bass line from the Clocks," and, and so you drop that in, and you get, and this is all giving you more of a score. That's the core game. 
once you get your beat going and you, and you get everything going and your mix going, there's another bar that's like saying, is the crowd getting bored? You've, you've had the same stems yeah, yeah. playing, so you, you change it up. Or actually, are you changing them too frequently because they don't like that? Okay. okay. Um, all this is happening. Then it it levels up. There's like a full synth in here. So while you have clocks, call me maybe the Clash, um, X and give it to you, all these, you also have synth pads that you can actually create your own synths from. So like yeah. a source synth, a bass line, all this is, it's, it's all in the game. So someone's like, one of the challenges is like, oh, put a source synth in, so you, you, you have to do all this on the controller, and it's got like a synth pad, a square, like, you know, like a, a digital version of a, of a synth pad, and you, 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 st- you create a loop, and then you can drop the loop into one of those instead of, so if you, you maybe take the vocal out or take the bass line out and replace it with the bass line you've created, of course it sticks to the key, it's kind of like an auto synth, almost like an arpeggiator or something like that. Um, all of this is in here. And on top of that, you've got like a whole free play thing. There's multiplayer. I haven't been able to see that. That's just, I know it's there because it's in the menu. Um, so you did this on, yes. oh, sorry. I was just going to yeah. say, was this on PC? This is PC at the moment, but it's coming to everything. Right. Yeah, I'm just curious how it would work on a console. This is the same. I don't know. I just... you, you use the left stick. It's like, it's like you know, the Destiny oh, right. style okay. little sort of dock. Big, the big yeah, 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 so yeah. You could just, it's, it's quite quick, and you move that up, and you, and you just, and you can, you, oh, I forgot to say, you can also cue things up. You can say you just want to cut the vocal for a bit, so you can cut the vocal, and then, it, or no, you can cut the bass line, and then you know that part of the song is going to come in heavy. You can then re, you know, bring it back into the mix oh, just at a man. flick of a button. So you are, um, I, I don't know how long the sets are because every single time I played it myself, I was like, that was so fucking good. That's so good. I, I have no idea how long I've been playing this. Do. How long, how much do you get to be creative in this? Like, like how, how, like, could I, could you possibly go on there and do all those songs together, as you said, which sounds yeah. absolutely insane. I definitely would love to hear it because it sounds just mm. comical. Mm. But could you, like, do that and then, like, save it? Is it, Do they go that far? I don't know. I don't know. Because... But you have a free play. So you, you, because I asked the question and it's a bit of a boring question, but I was just intrigued. Like, could you, if you wanted to, just put the bass from Clocks, the vocal from Clocks, the keyboards from Clocks, yeah, and the drums from Clocks? So it's just Clocks, yeah. Because this is this is where yeah, I'm like, can. when well, Chris is bringing up Dreams there a while ago, like, do you know? I think like I've ne- I haven't played Dreams and stuff, but ever since like that was announced, the general idea, I always meant, how are they going to? get away with this how do people recreate other games it's, and it's allowed to happen i guess, so why... I guess they, they've all said yes like you know the clash yeah, so in... have said yes you know in my head like why wouldn't this be able to happen in this game for music i mean there's 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 menus on I here i can't access i don't know okay. um i just all i know is that it felt brand new in a genre where like let's face it rock band 4 it's great fun still fun and if the four of us were in, like literally in this room i'm in and we had it all set up we'd have a good time there's no two ways about it but there's only so far you can go with it you know they added the real instruments and they added the keyboards and they did all that this feels and i've, I've seen people call it drop like drop mix i haven't played drop mix but this feels to me like a massive injection of just something into a genre that we probably have all have played. Like you know, the the last time I remember seeing a game that was innovative in this genre would have been DJ Hero, which was terrific fun. But again, it wasn't my genre. So as much as I could appreciate, it was great. Mm. It just wasn't my scene. Whereas this has got enough of my scene, mm. but it's also just a terrific game that yeah. I am like, uh, it's it's gone from a game I genuinely had barely heard of to probably one of the most like, exciting games to me this year. Like, it is so fun, so fun, and so as easy or as complicated as you want it to be. I think that's, yeah. that's my question, really, on it. Because, mm. like, I think about when I play, like, Guitar Hero back in the day. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And, and all that, and it's like, that for me, that's like, obviously, loads of songs and loads of difficulties, and I it never gets boring because you can mix it up because there's so many different yeah. choices. And the difficulty stacks quite well, and you can feel yourself progressing. And 
you're working towards, I guess, the realism of the song. And so it, you, you can, you know, and so yeah. I'm just wondering, like, in this, it sounds cool. It sounds like something I'd be really interested in. But I'm wondering, like, how is it something that you could see yourself really going into a single player campaign and spending hours and hours in? Or do you think it's going to get repetitive? Yeah, because there is little bits of story in between that some of the it's, it's some of that is going to be a bit cringe for people. I think I think that's the only thing. Oh, I should also mention the customization is, is insane. Like the, 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 the avatars are genderless. So which is which is, again, nowadays, that's a great thing to have. You can you can make your character male or female or, or, or neither. Do you know what I mean? You, you can you can do whatever you want. It is really customizable. Um, I will say in terms of difficulty, like when I because first of all I watched a presentation and then I went away and played it with with PC code myself, um, and I think I think her name was Zoe Schneider, who's the community manager at Harmonix. She was the one demoing it, and obviously and she's talking like I am, not quite as as much because obviously she is having to concentrate a bit, and it does require concentration. But she's she's showing me the game, and I genuinely was. I was in a real shit mood. Not that I would have ever let on, but I genuinely left it like going, oh, I'm really happy now. This is such a cool thing. And she she showed me like the tutorial stages that I got to play myself and then she showed me the, the later stuff. And I was watching her and I was watching her thinking, yeah, okay, I can do this, I can do this. Um, because it looks hugely complex, but it also looks like a visual language you can understand. It was only when I played it myself and did the harder levels, I was like... Wow, she was really good at this game. And of course, you know, she's a community manager on the yeah, game. Yeah. She's, and she demoed it to probably 15 other media that day. Um, but there's definite scope for, like, the, for one of a better phrase, like the full combo people in, in, in Guitar Hero and Rock yeah. Band that, that do the full combo stuff. And, and you know, you, there's definitely scope for that. And I think just because of the sheer volume of different ways you can mix your performance. Mm. No two mixes are going to... Because the other thing is... Well, so these songs you select from, the crate, it's called. As you progress, and, and certainly in free play, you can actually pick the songs. So whereas the tutorial levels, it's like, here's eight songs or whatever. These are the songs to work with. You you actually progress to have a bigger crate and more song selection. And yeah, like, for me, that is... I can't. I just can't wait. Like the, the, because it's such a pre. It's not out till later this year that the actual build is not going to keep working. So, I, but I also didn't want to like overdose on it because I want to play the full thing. Yeah. Um, it's what it's you, been what... a while since I just was like I I, I desperately want to play more of this. You know. So I am right in saying that there is no like accessory with this game, is there? It's a controller game. Just play with a controller. So where, do you think the days of that kind of thing are gone? Yeah, they're long gone. They're long gone. Especially really? now. Especially nowadays. Like, because you think there wouldn't even be a resale thing now, because no one's buying a second-hand plastic controller because of the the virus and, and the world's oh, going to change. Of course, from this. of course. So yeah, yeah. you know, even if, I just don't think anyone would ever do that now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Understandable. Uh, but I, yeah, genuinely, go watch the video. Um, cool. It's I'd just, be interested. I you will love it. I know you will. Chris White will absolutely lose your shit over it. Um, mm. Like I even said to them, I said, you know, I. I like to talk to people just normally. I'm not trying to create a relationship. There isn't. Uh, when we were we were chatting in the Discord and 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 um, the developers and 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 Zoe and that were, I think it was it was Zoe the community manager. I've written it down here. Uh, Dan Walsh was is the marketing and comms guy, and Daniel Sussman, who I think he was the guy who had the he had a Fender in the background. And the whole time I wanted him to get it off the wall and show me if it was a real one or not. Um, and it was like I just wanted to know. If it was coming to Switch, because if it was coming to Switch, I'm never playing another game. You know, what I mean, that was, it's, it's that, it's, it was that impressive. Perfect yeah. for um, Switch, yeah. I mean, if it runs properly, it'd be very good on Switch. Yeah, yeah, it'd be very good because headphones on, you can smile all you fucking like. It'd be a good game. Um, <laughs> but uh, while I'm talking about games, I started Trackmania as well, um, which I've been quite excited to to see. Um, <laughs> Have you played Trackmania before? Any of them? Because this is this this does appear to be Trackmania. Possibly. Uh, well, this is this is <clears throat> the reason it's called Trackmania is because this is their Trackmania now. It is a game as a service. It is it's got daily like new like a daily course you have to right, get the best okay. time in. They're apparently releasing a um like a new campaign section each month. I think it's monthly. Um, it's free to start. They've they've massively messed up 
whoever's responsible uh, uh, how they presented this game to 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 the media and the public like they they presented this game as a game with these subscription models that no one understands why they exist and no one's really sure what they do and it's this simple this is how it breaks down there is a free version of the game you can download on pc right now and play okay that's okay. it that game has the campaign and multiplayer and you can do that and that's fine that's free if you want to play the kind of additional stuff like the dailies the, the the stuff that requires them pushing to you updates as it were that's the next tier up okay and on top of that there is like a higher model that lets you create your club and that is it it's that simple yeah and i've just done the youtuber thing if those watching where i had to refocus this fucking camera um because i i, I really <laughs> high fiving us i was like yeah here you go. It. There, was, there was no way to do it without drawing attention to it so i've done so but yeah the, the thing is trackmania is still it's really good really fun runs brilliantly because yeah. it doesn't require a lot to run brilliantly just fantastic fun game mental yeah, yeah, courses yeah. Yeah. feels great and they've made the menus really shit as well like, i don't get it like the game parts terrific They've, what I just don't get it. Like it, this what is do you this mean by field, making it shit. It's just really complicated. Everything oh, about okay. it. It oh, doesn't right. explain anything to you. And they're updating it. And yeah. by the time this comes out, maybe they've fixed all of it. This feels like another one of those Ubisoft games that's going to be amazing in six months' time because they've updated it. The actual game is still amazing. Okay. It just baffles me that they finally Checkmate is never taken off. It's always been this niche game that people who are probably hardcore into games know about. It's certainly not you didn't you know, it's never taken off that I've seen. Even when they brought it to PS4 and Xbox One, it didn't take off, you know. And this now they've got a free ver a free game that people are looking at going, Yeah, but it's what a subscription. I don't want to pay monthly, I don't want to do it yet. Mm. And then when you and even if they do try it, the menus are all over the place and it's like I don't get it. I yeah. don't get it, and it's still a like it's still a, a really really cool game, and I'm gonna play a lot more of it. Um, I don't I don't don't understand it. I don't understand how the menus are so weird, and I mean it's always been a bit weird. Trackmania, like that is kind of the thing of it. That's fun. It's a bit weird, but there it is. I'm gonna play more of it. I can't talk much more about it because I haven't played enough of it, but I'm looking forward to playing more of it. So. Um, <clears throat> Chris, do you want to talk about some sports? sports? Sure do. Chris White, that is, sorry. So, we were invited to play the closed beta for um, Madden NFL 21. Uh, mm. And whilst <clears throat> there's not a lot to see in terms of the different modes, it's all about <clears throat> how the new gameplay mechanics work. And, and I, I know games that release yearly... There are there are periods of like three or four years where very little changes in the actual kind of play by play of an American football game at least remains more or less the same. Whereas I feel Madden is one of the few game series that really kind of changes it up um, because there's so many different aspects of an actual American football game that they can they can play around with all of it. So the main kind of thing was noticeable straight away was the uh how the right stick is now kind of used for skill moves whether that be in defense or whether you're in <clears throat> on the offensive line so before it was a case of like your standard four buttons on the right hand side all did a different move so there's like the duke the spin and the the jump and all these different kind of things I know now they're is. all i know i'm trying i'm trying not to be all like technical and sound like a bit of a douche. But, oh, um, Jesus. But uh, like you've got you've got all those pinned to the right stick, and you can you can when you spin it, it's a case of like spinning the right stick, so moving the right stick in a circular motion, and it's it's great mm. because it, it gives you a lot more freedom, and and a, especially if you're on the you're, you're running, and like the the AI has definitely improved, and and when you're trying to break through the line and you're using all these moves, you can kind of chain them together yeah. to, to kind of, to, to make a good run for it. And they've like added the dead leg, which is kind of like where, where a player will drop their leg with the ball and then kind of force himself in another direction to throw off the defense. So there's, there's that. And then in terms of the, the actual defending team and when you've got like little bars that appear above your head, depending on what position you 
are in the specific play, which will tell you how successful the move that you've been allocated as your role in that that play is. So it'll be green if it if it's going to be successful, or it'll be more of the red if you're not. So it it allows you to call like like allows you to change your plays quite often and experiment and see how so they, successful you're going to be against a certain line. So have they made it more simulation-y, more realistic? Um, they have, but the, there's less. there's a different mode. So you you've got the arcade mode, which is a lot more kind of fun and the rules are a little more relaxed um and you can play like standard like as, as simulated as you want it to but i just feel that they've really kind of honed the things that were lacking in previous games and they've kind of especially with like the like like the wide receivers and the tight ends and making their way up the the pitch and you throw a ball and you can you've got real freedom in how you how you break away from the defense and it's really good also you can yeah like that one of the things that i hate in any online game is when there's an ability to like Fortnite. if you if you <laughs> you're in the last two and you die and they start dancing there's nothing more frustrating i, I hate it i hate them and i, I use some few choice <laughs> words and i have to kind of monitor it when i play with my kids in this, it, they've, they've introduced, like, say you, you, say you take out their quarterback in a sack. You can then press uh, the right stick in a direction to, to dance or to cheer or to essentially mock the opponent. So if you do play online, that's going to fuck people off. Yeah. Um, but also, like, if you, if you get a touchdown, the right stick acts as, like, you could choose to celebrate alone. You can choose your signature. You could choose to kneel or you can choose to celebrate with your team. So there's like quite a, hmm. quite a wide variety of, of new moves and stuff. And there's a lot more to it. And I've not played loads. So is, but, it, um, is it actually, is it, is it still coming out this August? As far as I'm aware. Yeah. I just, I just wondered because like, um, like I was thinking about EA play, how they basically said, Oh, and we are doing NHL, I think. But again, like sort of, I'll tell, I tell you what will be, sorry, Adam, go on. No, I was just gonna say like, where are these? Where is the Madden series like in terms of the fans? No, what where, like where does oh, it sit? Mate, like, don't ask us to talk it, about what fans. But no, like. I'm saying like in terms of it's the quality of the game itself. Oh, like as FIFA's gone on, I I I think like has, FIFA, has, FIFA has some Madden... people love and some people hate. Like it, you, you well, clearly FIFA, FIFA ninety eight is the best FIFA game. Yeah, sure. The World isometric World World ones. <laughs> indoor you, stadium, you the, bring yeah. it back, baby. Oh yeah, yeah. Where you could you could get the ball when the keeper would go to kick it out of his hands, and you could block that and score a goal. Do you remember that? Superb, superb. Ninety five and ninety four, hammering the yeah. A button. Yeah. Go, 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 <laughs> But but, but sports, like sports, sports games, yeah. sports yeah. games are what they are now. You either like them. Yeah, um, yeah. And you know or, what? Or, or no, you I know what you're saying. Like I think I think Madden certainly improved about two years ago when they introduced long shot the story mode but not just with that they introduced it looked like the game itself kind of became a lot better to play and and like there's been minor improvements but it stayed very similar whereas this is quite a game changer for right for how much freedom you're given but like with with the release in august the i don't know if you've seen the news as the day we record Right. The Washington, the, the, there's a team in the NFL called the Washington yes, Redskins. Redskins, yeah. Well, the name the, there's changes for sponsors. The sponsors have called for the name to be changed. I, I thought they already had. What what team is it that's called the Redskins? It had already changed. Then I don't know. Is there another sp- like, is there another team in another sport that's got a similar name? Because I thought there was this whole thing where they were up because it's obviously it's not PC. I suppose is the best way of putting no. it. Perhaps. Uh, no, and I think yeah, with everything that's happening in the world in terms of like, like Black Lives Matter and and things just people yeah. opening their eyes to it, yeah. it does make sense. It, and and yeah, also not being funny, team, teams move fucking states, you know, in in sports, don't they? Like yeah, well, uh, o- Oakland yeah. Raiders in the NFL I mean. are supposed to be moving to Las Vegas, and it's the same with. Um, I didn't, I'm trying to think. What, I'm, I'm sure it was the NHL where there's like they literally move states. They so, they created like, a brand new team, the yeah. Las Vegas Knights, a couple yeah. of years ago. So it's like it, uh, it happens, and, and I, 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 there's not a lot they can do until it happens. Yeah. Um. But I, I wonder if they would delay it, because I, yeah. I don't know how long it takes to change all these things. 
I mean, it depends uh, yes, if they change the, the kit, badge, and all they'll, that. Which they'll, it change would be, the they'll change the logo because it's, yeah, so it's a. I mean, it would be theory, a, a patch. It's whether that patch requires. Yeah. But um, but no, yeah. like, like the game itself so far, brilliant. Yeah, and it, and it, it just makes me want to play it more because I just love diving into a season. And, I'm just yeah, intrigued about, going. like I say, all these sports games where we're in a situation where like sport is happening, but it's different. Like, you know, think of FIFA. Do you think they would put a mode in for FIFA where there's no crowd? No. Uh, I don't, but, I but, like but they should because they, they are going for the ultra-realistic... Realism. I mean, they, 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 and they are now, Adam, I don't know if you're aware of this, but during like Sky Sports presentations for football, they, they have it on two channels, as they always, always do. But one of them has crowd noise that is from FIFA. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. But like, it's I'm so just saying, weird. Like, but like, so they, weird. They, they've yeah. kind of given you a taster of it anyway, because you know, like before each match, you get to play around and just shoot the ball, or yeah, like, the, and there's no crowd Absolutely. there, no, and it you just hear the sound of the net or something, or the or the, hitting the post, mm. and that's quite satisfying. But Jesus, I don't know. Like, I'd I'd have to say, like, if, maybe if, people won't want reminding of it. Well, if FIFA came out like new FIFA announced, here's our new feature: no crowd. Like, no, I don't mean like, that they make a big deal because I'm not being no, funny. They, FIFA last year is missing. Yeah quite a bit like it's missing goal line no the goal line technology is in there it's missing an indoor stadium no that's in there because they had they had um... is... what there's an yeah, indoor the, stadium the, back FIFA in FIFA street, FIFA street was back basically back in FIFA they, if I was size oh, yeah but I'm talking about like standard FIFA main, main no. series no it is in FIFA 21 oh, FIFA 20 it is in there like you can yeah. play five Volta. aside indoor football yeah. Volta Wait, anyone called, tell yeah. me this I must buy that game immediately you should read the review on God as a Geek mate you would have known <laughs> fucking um, class yeah, yeah, you would know. <laughs> it's actually probably Fricks. the worst bit of the game now, but like, um, no, but like, I don't know. Like, they, they, they you, you can't in FIFA twenty. You can't the, the the new rule implementation where you can pass the ball to your own player inside the box isn't in FIFA twenty, and I think there's another one that isn't in there. That's a significant one. I'm honestly, I don't, I don't. I mean, how the Christ do you implement VAR? Oh, it's... but I, but I think you have to. If you are presenting FIFA 21 as an a accurate representation of football, I think that has to be in there. And how the hell you do that? The thing is, there are there are times when there is there is goal line tech in FIFA 20, but not obviously not. It's only it's the only AR. the goal line though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know how much more of a. The thing is, you you if there was like a sensitivity bar for the VAR, <laughs> yeah. maybe maybe that would work. Gun moss or um, not? Yeah, but I don't know. I think. I think it'd be it'd be because if you if you to have a mode where there's no crowd, mention it on the slide. But I think they need to have the crowd because not only for 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 us playing, but for like when you watch when you watch football at the minute, like yeah. when goals are scored, they haven't got the 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 fever yeah. from the fans. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like when I was watching the derby game, Rooney scored a fucking class free kick, and he just kind of walked off and was like, it just doesn't. Well, like obviously they're not they're not know. feeding from it, like they're precisely, not, like, yeah. So I think, but like for for the home people, for for fans like yourselves, like I've I've friends who watch it. I can't believe I'm talking this much about football, but I'm my uh, my, <laughs> my my friends are watching it, we and they're it like, best. I asked them about that, and they were like, yeah, it's not bad, it's not the worst thing ever, and I was like, because it sounded really weird, it it just sounded weird the, the initial plan of it, you know, but uh, I don't know, I think it's just weird times for those for for football fans and just it's weird like... times for everyone and everything yeah I, I i can only speak for myself in that right now as someone who's sort of worked all the way through um in, as a key worker i i hate saying that but that's the easiest way of saying it i'm going to use that from now on to sort of not say what i do for a living but i'm a key worker um so like as someone who's done that now we're at the stage where i feel kind of frozen in time because so much is going back to normal yeah and i'm like it fucking shouldn't yeah, and and I feel it weirdly frozen in time, like nothing's actually moving, and yet everything's moving as well. And I I feel this. We're not here to talk about this. Um, what what I would say is like sports games generally, I think are in for an interesting time because I I there's a lot they can do, should mm. do, shouldn't do. We'll find out. Like I am, I would be a little disappointed with FIFA if 21 comes out and they still don't allow you to pass the ball inside your own box from a goal kick. Because like there that, wasn't that di- felt like an omission for me that last year. They knew that, it was coming. It wasn't yeah. suddenly like, oh, by the way, we're doing this. That that was a rule that was implemented. They knew it was coming. 
<clears throat> can so I the... can I make a request to EA? Please get rid of Lee Dixon as well. I, I can't, I can't stand his. Recorded. I, 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 oh, I was having I was a rough like, game. The commentator, ex I was having player. a rough game the other night, and he's just horrible. Call him a shot, diabolical. When it was just, it was just past the post. Oh, but that's, I'm outside that's... the box, thank you. But that's funny. But, it is. Oh, they, not, they were diabolical. You... I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> you take it personally. To the man in space. <laughs> I don't. I do. I hate it. I hate him. I, I will say, I think this is the longest. I mean, why we're we talking about FIFA when we started about Madden, but this is the longest I think I've played a FIFA. And, and I know a lot of people have said that about Call of Duty, um, which, by the way, this is as good a time as any to say, if you are not already, uh, hopefully you're watching this or listening to this on your chosen app. If you're not, if you're listening to it, maybe you'd like to watch it on YouTube, um, youtube.com slash God is a Geek, um, but also twitch.tv slash God is a Geek, God is a Geek on Twitch, essentially. We're going to be streaming some stuff and we're looking at maybe doing a bit of FIFA Beer Pro. Um, obviously, Adam won't be involved in that, but the rest of us will be playing ship. You know, we're just arguing over who plays. Here, look, there's an indoor stadium. No, it could be there. <laughs> maybe you'll be. The, maybe you could be the goalie. No, no one gets to be the oh, goalie. The that goalie's, that's... the goalie's rubbish. Yeah, well, enough said. I've um, never we'll saved. Be, I've um... never saved a, a ball ever as a goalie. <laughs> I suspect that. I I believe you. But we're also looking to maybe do some some Call of Duty Modern Warfare because I think all of us have been sort of itching to play that, even though we've we just haven't had the time. And it seems a good excuse to. So Twitch TV slash God is a Geek. Um, Follow us on there, and you'll get notifications and stuff everywhere if you follow us on those social media platforms. Mm-hmm. Um, Christopher Hyde. Hello. I want to, as your posh Chris. Yeah. Oh, that's what I could have called you, just Chris and why posh he, Chris. Why is he posh? Because you're common. Fuck off. And, 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 he, and he has to be posh to say that to you, because no one yeah, else would. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, um, okay, I understand yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, it's an, it's an accent thing, like... <laughs> You're not that far apart, are you, in terms of distance? But one of you definitely sounds posh. All right, I, I, Chris, I like your accent. Thank you. No, I've all, I, I genuinely because I like a good swear, as anyone listening to this knows. And I don't think any accent sounds better swearing than a sort of. I'm, I'm sorry, but to me, Derby, the accent sounds northern, not mm. quite like we're fucking up north, lad. But you know, northern a bit. And I think when you swear, because you, I say fuck, but you say fuck, and I think that sounds just it all sounds like more aggressive, and I like that in a swear. Anyway, posh Chris, it's you I want to speak to because I want to see Adam Carroll's face in Chris, crystal clear, probably 720p actually by the look of the webcam. <laughs> I want to see his face as you break his heart because what have you been playing? Who with? And what have you been doing? <laughs> so been playing uh, Astroneer and I've been playing it with Adam Cook and Christopher White mm-hmm. and not with Adam Carroll. No, so just a trio. Not our fault. No, not our fault. No, he At decided all. to I don't know, play some other triple A game instead for the full yeah. time. Um, Apparently, so... it was shit anyway, waste of my time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Checks so, in the post. So, yep, so we've been playing some Astroneer and we're kind of getting towards the get, end game towards? now. Oh, well, towards? I was good. I didn't want to spoil it. Okay, we've, we've hit the end. We've officially hit the end. Adam. Get his face. But... We have, we have seen the credits of Astroneer. We've we seen have... the credits. Well, well, well you've we the game. we have. You haven't. We Hang on, have. no. hold up here. How is there an end to this game? Actually, do you know what? That's how far behind you are. <laughs> you yeah. you have so much to see. Um, go I on, Chris. This. Posh Chris. So yeah, so the credits have rolled. We've seen Posh them. Chris. <laughs> I can't believe I'm just rolling with it as well. You yeah. got to really. It's happening. Yeah. <laughs> this is happening. So, so yeah. So in Astroneer, so when you get to the core of every planet and do a couple of jobs, then you see the credits roll. And we did that with Chris, and I did it with Chris and Adam a couple of days ago, and it was glorious until the game bugged out. Um, oh, <laughs> did it bug so, out? So yeah. So because Adam was about. I thought two he minutes, was taking the minutes. headphones off and going to walk out the room. <laughs> See ya. I'm not having this. So Adam's, Adam's game, as you know, and he was like a minute behind us. So me and Chris were watching the credits. Yeah. And saw things like a burrito and various other things that you'll Spoiler. You seen. Spoiler, Spoiler burrito. Yeah. Um, and then we just bugged out in the game, <laughs> floating in space, because we were waiting for Adam to finish his credit scene. And we were just floating in space. Um, but yeah, it's we've seen the end. But, um, yeah, there, there is an end. Did this, did this feel like you were coming to to the like? Yes. Did you get, yes. did you get to a stage yes. where you're like, 
Holy shit, are we actually going to have a game we, that we finish? You, you discover we... some things, yeah, and they kind of indicate to you, oh, there's more of a goal than I thought there was, and yeah. you follow that path. And it leads you to a conclusion. You can still play afterwards. Mind yeah. It was literally we said we're going to see the credits when we do this last thing, and we yeah. were right. So yeah. yeah, we knew it was coming. I, I literally have three achievements left to get to get a hundred percent of that game. That is, oh, God, 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 God. and we will get hundred percent of that game. We, I, I, one of them is a slight spoiler, so I won't say it. But it's to find, it's to solve every puzzle relating to a certain thing, and it is quite laborious. Well, I think we've got it down now. There. It, this, I mean, I will say, the, when we finished it, we played on Xbox, and I've been playing on PC a lot more recently. I can't play on Xbox anymore. I can't. Like after playing to Chris and I just did a, we were doing a bit of a tidy up today, weren't we? Really, and um, posh Chris, this is, and it <laughs> is so. Um, it's it's like a different game on the PC because it's so much smoother, uh, and, I, and I'm as much as I love it, and I, I do love it. I think it's obvious just from what I've said. I don't know about you, Chris, posh Chris. Um, I'm not sure it's acceptable how it runs on Xbox, if I'm honest. It's, ah, it's, a, it's actually... Here we go. It's, no, it is atrocious. Sorry. I mean, it, you, we love this game. We, we oh, do. We wouldn't have time. put like uh, tens of hours in this. Well, it's actually got a probably. bug on it. Like on, I don't know about if you can check on PC, but on Xbox dashboard, it says like you played eight hours. And it's like, no, I haven't. No, I today, haven't. Yes, today, I've played, I played eight hours. Yeah, 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 exactly that. Yeah. yeah. It's And I think we let a lot of a lot of the the gremlins go because we're playing it and we enjoy what we're what we're hearing and what we're seeing and what we're discovering but you take a step back and you just go this runs like absolute ass and it does it all the time uh, you know it's not like just one time in one person's mm. game it's every everybody's game and fairly consistently that frame rate just drops you know, even when you're getting in and out yeah. of a buggy the frame rate just drops you do anything that is remotely involved the frame rate drops you go near the base where there's stuff appearing and popping in the frame rate drops and it just and, becomes and yeah so... and yeah i kind of want to play it right now yeah oh yeah and that's because yeah exactly because you're not you're we're still playing it through that and that's that's a testament to the enjoyment of discovering and experiencing and i guess conquering that game but yeah you can't deny when you take a step back no 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 it's got some a lot of performance flaws i mean i'm playing on an x but i don't think it makes a difference so so the interesting thing is is i i this is how much down the rabbit hole i've gone i was you you can you can pay for a dedicated server so that rather than me have to be online because it's my local save it's in the cloud it's on a server and i was so tempted to just to buy a month and upload it and just see if that made a difference because presumably that's uh because it's 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 the save it's running off my save essentially and i'm I'm kind of tempted to do it it's only like six quid for a month i think and just just see if by being hosted on a dedicated server it makes the because the second i mean chris we played today on pc posh chris we played on pc and for me it was like night and day was it okay for you today? Was it? Was it? I felt like it was better today because you were hosting on. PC. That's what I mean. Like it, it yeah. is. It is that. Which so in theory, if it were on a dedicated server, mm. it it should run okay for everyone. I don't know. Like yeah. it is. It is. Is one of those games where I don't know. Have we said all there is to say about it? I don't think so. I think. To be honest I think. With you. I think we should I missed the laugh anyway. But look, but it's you'll on catch to us. up. You'll catch I, up. I think we should mention the automation update just just briefly because that's Adam. They just had updated the game with what they I call saw... the automation update, yeah. and Chris is a, posh. Chris is a very happy storage master. Yeah. Oh, of course. There's there's canisters that you can put up to four hundred of the same thing in, and we stuck one to the back of yeah the the massive ones. We were going around. We haven't seen the big too. ones. Yeah, the yeah, and wait, um, what? Yeah. So you... the, I think it's 400, or it's at least 100. It's in the hundreds. So it's anyway. 30, 32 for the medium canister, isn't it? Yeah, there's a large one. Um, anyway, wow. so we, we you stick it to the back of the, the beast. Um, yeah. which, which I don't think Adam's seen that yet. Oh. What's okay, the there's, beast? There's, there's a beast. So Adam's got a vehicle that's just like, you can drill and pave at the same time. So you can literally just, you go hit a mountain, and drill through it, hit a like a massive crater, you can pave over it. So there's literally no terrain that can stop us now. So we're literally just 
bombing through the map. You have to get back on this game you and see... see this. It's a game changer, that, that one is. But also, that, that like... is genuinely like... So... It makes you feel invincible. But the combination of having a jetpack and that, <clears throat> that rover makes you feel invincible. Yeah. essentially and it is and, an incredible feeling it changes the game because you are no yeah. longer bothered you don't need tethers you don't need them anymore no you don't i it's like incredible. the tethers yeah Fair i'm with you we did, i, I, fair, I we love did leaving my them. crazy trail of where i've gone it's just that is another thing that is actually a genuinely one thing that is true without the tethers you don't have the breadcrumb trail yeah and, and that's that funny, does make you just see that person's difficult. story and you're like, yeah, absolutely. What was going on here? <laughs> but, but but trust me, Adam. When you when you take a ride in the beast, yeah, you won't you won't want to you won't you'll forget tethers even existed. Can I just uh, say something? If we're finished, astroneer talk right now. I don't know. Um, Are we, Chris? Posh Chris. I'll let him. I'll let him speak. Yeah, you need I'm to just, finish I, your I, automation look, update. I just want to quickly say that, like, I haven't. I, I'm playing a game. I'll probably talk about it next week. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I've been playing a, a just a, just a random one here, but I've been playing a shit ton of Mario Kart again. I go through oh. like so much of this, right? What a game! So I've been playing a lot of Mario, Mario Kart. I play weekly, to be honest. Ever since that game has come out, it's just ridiculous how many hours I put into it, lads. I gotta say, and I know you'll agree, we need a new Mario Kart. We like, I think it's gone so far. It's gone so far now that like even if they announce tracks. It wouldn't be enough. Like I like, are we getting a Mario Kart announcement this year? No. Like Nintendo have been quiet, and I've been genuinely pondering my head, going, they have to do it because, like, the features and the items in it. Yeah. Is it? You say yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah Jesus. Uh, the features and like the mechanics and the items in general in it are getting kind of old. They're getting very old now. The the formula of, like, the blue shell... Like, the blue shell in Double Dash is relentless. It's just, like, non-stop. Mm -hmm. In 8, it just becomes that thing where if you're if you're first for ages and ages, you're definitely getting a blue shell. Which is kind of, like, fair enough. But, like, none of the weapons are... Act I know this, I'm not, this is not just something I discovered, but I just feel like it's as time has gone on, I've decided to just kind of, like, accept it for what it is. And I'm getting more annoyed now because it's just like I just want a new Mario Kart announcement. Like yeah. if you get a if you get a bullet bill or anything like that, if you're like in eleventh or twelfth and you get a bullet bill or, or or a star, like any other Mario Kart game gets, if you get that item, you are put back up to at least third. Yeah. With those items, they, yeah. they, they, it just doesn't happen in it. It just does not. Like. You do not get far ahead of the pack and stuff. No. I, I don't know. It's really weird. And it's like, I'm just getting kind of ahead of that during the week. And I was like, I'm just so in need of a new Mario Kart now. I think the world is just badly wanting this. Like for, for all, all Nintendo fans alone. Because they've been so goddamn quiet this year, haven't they? Well, that's because they don't want to do it the way everyone else is doing it. They want their Nintendo Directs to be Nintendo Directs the way they want them to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I, I get, I get to like, I know we've Paper Mario coming out and stuff soon. Yeah. But like, compared to like the way they were last year, it's just like. I, th I, I, I think you're going to see some stuff from Nintendo soon. I, I think probably yeah, in the next couple yeah. of weeks. I think you're going to get an announcement yeah. for a, um, a a game. Yeah. Um, not but, really. Like, it's not really a report to say, but I just had no. to say. Because it's been bothering me that Mario Kart I, thing. I mean, I'd rather have a franchise we haven't got on Switch come to Switch. Like, uh, like a new IP. Me no, just, oh, sorry. just like just like a Metroid or a Star Fox or something. But Metroid like that. is coming. Oh, I know it is. That's what I'm saying. If I was going to get a new, I guess I guess I'm going to get a new big AAA Nintendo game. Right. I'd rather it was that than Mario Kart Nine. Personally, Are you, I don't think you're getting a Mario Kart Nine full no, stop. It would be called cool something think else. Are. I, I really. think next year they might. But then it's it still be Mario sells, Kart Switch. It? I don't know. I don't think it'd be called that. I don't know. I don't know. I well, they did go Mario Kart Wii, like so. True. Yeah. Mario Kart yeah. DS. I mean, yeah. I mean, we've never, we've never free, had, yeah. we've never had more than one Mario Kart on a console. So that's what makes me feel like we won't. I know this is like it, the deluxe version yeah, of. You might the Wii be right. Wii, but... Is is Mario Kart personally no? With what they have put out in the Switch, is Mario Kart the the next like? This will sell so much. That, that and that's why they them. haven't announced it because they don't need to. Yeah. When 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 they sales really to dwindle, to. they might. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. They got some. They got some. You know, like you say, you you you, you can't talk about the game, but there's but a game you can talk about next week. Yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, embargo. I've played but, a bit of as well. 
But can you imagine the sheer and utter, like, excitement right now for, like, if a new Mario Kart was to come out this year? Like, let alone be announced, the buzz that people would have, the races. Like, surely that would boost the online. Like, yeah, but the online's them. still not great, is it? No, it's, it's not, but that's honest. what I mean. Like, it's like, what are they kind of, like, gearing towards for these features, you know? Yeah. And this kind of franchise. I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a random rant that I'm open to anyone watching or listening to this to discuss their opinions on. Because... Yeah, and in, in the comment section of the video, tell us: Do you want a Mario Kart what, nine or a new Mario Kart, or what do you, what do you want to see Nintendo do? Um, I think that's a podcast for this week, isn't it? Unless anyone's got anything else. We can't. Last was, still, last was still, still amazing. I must think. <laughs> There's a lot we can't talk about at the moment. Like we can say that Chris and myself are both playing Ghost of Sausages. Sorry, Ghost of Tsushima. I didn't mean to use our internal code word for the for the game there. Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, I think we, uh, we again. I can't remember the review embargo of hand, but we can talk about it then. Um, there are other games we are playing that are embargoed that we can't talk about. Adam's got one. Chris has got one. Um, well, we can say what yours is. Story of Seasons. I Friends of Minimal Town. Thank you. Yep. Um, you know, I don't suppose any of us have played the Animal Crossing update, which is out now. Um, I... Oh, is that out now? Yeah, the I swimming have... one. I yeah, have... I... I... Good? It's, it's, yeah, it's really good. That you can so, now swim. <clears throat> I, won't, I won't say, because obviously you don't want people to experience themselves, but yeah. you've got a whole new Critopedia page for okay. stuff in the ocean, which is amazing. That's what That's, was... It oh. feels like a genuine, oh, wow. I, genuine I thought... update rather than a shit okay. like... So, so when I was re- reviewing it, and obviously nobody knew anything because the game wasn't out, I thought that the reason there were so many spaces in that Critopedia for, for that, the fish bit, was that they would add no. diving eventually. They've actually made a whole no, there's, separate... there's okay, loads. Yeah. There's, oh, there's quite a lot. Yeah. And it all it all works as well, like the, the bugs and the fish do, where certain times of day, certain months of the oh, year. Oh, wow. So. Okay, that is pretty cool. Okay, yeah. cool. I, might, uh, I won't I talk about it anymore, up. but what I will say, just completely separate to the actual event i had someone move in from a different island from one of my nintendo friends and i'm fairly sure it's chris love who's whose island is we saint jim do we know know that's that's him i think yeah i think yeah yeah chris uh i know you'll be listening uh nox has moved in the chicken with the cranky chicken nox he's he's the axe murderer priest chicken yeah, he's fucked. Yeah. He's fucked yeah, up. He's, he's in mine, or was. So I played it for a little. Oh yeah, yeah. He's 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 a bit odd, but I've got three crankies now. I'm kind of shaping it into my island, because my wife left. She moved out. Wait. Um, oh, man, she sorry. she got a she got a switch light. Oh my got god. Animal Crossing again. She wanted to be in control. So she she got a new she island. She wanted the power. We, it's the only mate, way to do that. We literally wow. spent two full weeks moving her out. She she had so much just, shit yeah, in her house this. and like it's mental like it's just as stressful as real life, but um yeah, but so it's my island now and I'm literally got like three cranky bastards on there and it's great. But yeah, she, ocean she update. Will never, well she worth, will never well visit worth. again. She won't be no. allowed. Um, no. I think well, that is a podcast for this week. I'm I'm very impressed that Adam did not draw attention to the visual thing that there was a Batman poster behind Chris's head. Um, oh, I did. In my oh, head. You, you didn't. Okay, but well, that's yeah, okay. Fine. Uh, thank Amazing. you very much for being here, lads. <laughs> thank you. We really do appreciate it. To everyone else, uh, patreoncom geek. You can actually become a member on YouTube now, and we're working out what we can do with that. But in theory, we should be able to give you the podcast early via YouTube that way as well. We'll, we'll, we'll work it out but have a look at that have a look at patreon.com slash god as a geek twitter facebook instagram we're everywhere but importantly twitch.tv slash god as a geek because we will be doing that and eventually we will look to stream the podcast live on some of these services as well adam chris posh chris thank you very much for being here thank you thank you thank you everybody else we will speak to you next week or whenever you choose to listen bye bye do hand motions at the camera and those listening know that you're doing the hand motions at the camera bye (laughs) 